Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion hosted by St. Peter Lutheran Church. We're located here in beautiful Fort Myers Beach, Florida. I'm Pastor Sharon Taylor. It's a joy to be with you this morning. We hope that you have been finding these devotions meaningful, devotions that come to us from Luther Seminary. So today is Thursday, March 25th, and our scripture is from Psalm 31, verses 9 to 16. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries, a horror to my neighbors, an object of dread to my, to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of mind like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel, for I hear the whispering of many terror all around as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. We all struggle with loneliness. This has been evident during the pandemic, especially for many of our senior citizens. They often go days without meaningful human contact. The sense of isolation grows and they begin to feel life is without meaning or purpose. It has been heartening to see that the way many families and congregations have found ways to reach out to those who are alone with meals, with safe visits, and words of comfort. Our reading from Psalm 31 foreshadows the loneliness of Jesus on the cross. He is scorned and rejected. The disciples abandon him. The religious and civil authorities condemn him. The soldiers taunt and torture him. Let's not forget that we are there too. We cast him aside and leave him utterly alone. Our sin ultimately kills him. But loneliness and death do not get the final word. God's steadfast love does. Jesus is raised from the dead. In God's crazy logic, the empty tomb is not a lonely place, but a scene of triumph. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, you know how we struggle with loneliness. Fill us with the power of the crucified and risen Christ that we might comfort others who feel forgotten and alone. Amen. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. May God look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.